Howdy folks, welcome to episode 16. We are going to, as you see here, there's a little bit of a mess, but I put the trees back in, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up to remove the trees. So I'll talk about it while, as I'm going here, because um, I just need to do start doing this stuff and get it going. So uh, yeah, we'll, I'll explain it while we're going here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down a ton of these crossover tracks all over the place, because these are gonna mark where Basically, there's going to mark where the trees need to be removed, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what. Uh, basically, it's <laughs> it doesn't matter if they're connected or anything, because these are these are going to be removed. They're not going to stay in the save. Um, so what I'm going to do is, if I can, is it going to let me? It's not going to let me put them there. Okay. Can I put one there? I think I can put one down here. Right. Let's go like this get a bunch of these removed but yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna put wow that was interesting um, so anyway what I did was I decided that um, and and I I thought about this a few times but I decided that that figuring out how to change the save file just to remove all this stuff would be more interesting than you know pointing at a bunch of trees with a mouse it's boring right so um, yeah, I decided I was going to edit the save instead to get the trees removed. And so what I did was um, I went into the save game with a hex editor and looked at the locations of the splines, it's, you know, the, the names of stuff that's, that's saved in there. So, because one of the things is the array of trees that have been removed. So that's easy enough. Um, if you have a map with all the trees removed, you have a list of where all the trees are. So um, there's a nice head start there. So I used one of those files for that. And then um, I basically went through and found all the spline points, like loaded, had it load in all the spline points from the, from the save. And here, let's go like this. And <laughs> I like that. So I had it load in all the spline points from the save and then, um, and then check the distances between those spline points, I like. I like that. That's real. That's really entertaining. Okay, but yeah, I had to check the distance between. Can I get up there? Between the spline points and the um, and the nearest trees. The thing is, is that the spline points are just where the spline ends and you know starts and ends. I didn't. Whoops. Uh, I'm gonna have to put on fly, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Okay. Let me go like um, this. And we're gonna find me on the map. Where am I on the map? I don't even know where I went on the map. <laughs> here, let me bring this over here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so we came from the mine. I keep wanting to call it the coal mine. Is that me right there? No. We came from the mine. And we went down here. Is it... There it is. Okay, there I am. All right, so we're going to go like this. We're just going to enable flying for the moment, and we'll get this shut back off. Okay, so we can do this. All right, and then we need to lay down a little bit more track here. There we go. A couple more here. All right. So anyway, yeah, what I, so what I did was I had it look at the spline, the ends of these, and it didn't it didn't do any of the middles of them. It's just the ends, it's just where the ends are, and so it's, you know, that's why we have a bunch of trees in the middle. But if you see where the joints are between the pieces of track, there's not much there. There we go. Get rid of these. But this is a lot easier than clicking and waiting and you know how you gotta hit it just precise and you gotta wait for it to fall and everything else um, so yeah we're just gonna do it like this and so what this is gonna do is this is gonna make a save with a list of all these locations and then anything within I think I 
was using 10 meters. Anything within 10 meters of any of these crossover pieces is going to be deleted. And the thing is, it's writing it into a new save, and it's not writing all of these into it. It's just writing my old splide points with the new tree locations. And so that's the idea behind this. So we're going to spend a few minutes putting all these down so that we can get rid of all the trees. And so the other thing is that it's basically, it's it's like I hard coded it just to delete my trees in my save. I wanted to, I, I was thinking I needed to make something, you know, that could, they could parse in the entire save file and figure all the stuff out and do the whole for file format and load all the arrays and and then rewrite everything and it's like I was thinking you know why do I need to do that all I need to do is just change the tree array it's the only thing I re really need to rewrite whoa <laughs> wow okay <laughs> all right um the amber alert that's great it's, it, they always know when I'm uh <laughs> when I'm recording but anyway so yeah I don't I don't need to um there's there's no need to basically do the uh here we'll just get a bunch of these it, there's there's no particular need to get every single um possible save file you know to make it generic for every save so what I did like I said is I hard coded it to to load my save and my other save with these in it and the other save with the trees in it and then write a special save that has these splines and all that so because the thing is if um here let's go downhill a little bit just a little bit not too much but the thing is if i um here we should be able to run from here it's it's it took me you know a couple hours basically to to get everything hooked up to do it the way I wanted to do and it's like if I had to make it generic it, I could spend months trying to get it to work right and debugging and making it so that everybody can use it easily and you know and then answering everybody's questions about how it works and <laughs> you know all that and it's like you know what I just need this to do to take the trees out of my save and I'm done okay so yeah because the thing is the 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 ones that all of the ones that work with uh, the save editors that work with the trees and try to clean up clean up all the trees near the tracks they don't recognize the new tracks and now they've um, they've changed the they've changed the game enough that you basically can't even um, it, you can't read the you can't put in the old tracks if you look on the G screen um, there's no old tracks anymore it's, there's only the new tracks, so you can't even lay old tracks anymore. So we're just going to get a bunch of these. This is way easier than clicking every single tree, right? I probably don't even need to do these many, this many, but I don't want to have to come back in. So we're just going to do a lot of them. <laughs> but you can see what the, the 10 meter, I think it's 10 meters. But it's a thousand units of whatever, and I think the units were centimeters. I think the units for Unreal Engine are centimeters by default. So yeah, um, you can see where the joints are between these two tracks. You can see how far things are cleared out. So I believe it's right there is the center point. And so that's about the distance that you're going to get where things are cleared out. And the other thing that I can do is I can just make the radius bigger too. I can make it 20 meters if I want to and have it clear out trees in a 20 meter radius too i just don't want to do it so wide that you know see if you look from here there's it looks like it's about this big so yeah but anyway we're going to get all of this done and that's going to be today's episode is we'll get all these put in and then um hopefully i'll be able to uh <laughs> we'll finish the episode with uh We'll finish the episode with the um, the results. Or you know what I can do is instead of me boring you to death by making you watch all of this, I can probably just get this done uh, off camera. And I think because I think you've got the idea of what we're doing here, so I'm gonna get this done off camera, and then I'll come back and show you how many of these I did because we'll have a save for it. 
and then we'll show you the results. So let me do that, and I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so in the, here's the save that I made. In this save, as you can see here, right here there's spline track location array. All right, and that is like, that's the locations of all the things that I just laid. This number right here is 1510. That's how many there are. These are the XYZ vectors of those. So these four bytes right here, and then there's the X, this is the Y, and then that's the Z. Okay, and so for several of these, you go down and basically that's all this. That's all this data. That's the location of your, of your whatchamacallits. The trees are way down here. I'll show you in a second if I can find where they start. There we go. Okay, the trees are the very last thing and it is here removed vegetation so if you look at whoops did i just go down pages i think i just went down pages here go down a couple lines so this is the removed vegetation and this number right here is 1018 is how many trees have been removed so the struct property there or it might be that one i don't remember for sure but uh, anyway, it's, it's one, I think it's 1018. Yeah, and that's how many bytes the, the, uh, this list is. So that's 1018 trees have been removed at that point. And then if we look at the one that I just made, so we should have down here, we should have the tree removed array, hopefully. Let's see if we can find it. There it is, removed veg vegetation array, 4,132. So it removed, and then this one should be 12 times that. Yep, okay. So yeah, we removed 3,000 trees by doing that. <laughs> so there we go. All right, and so then we're gonna go back into the game and I will meet you there. Oh, and here, here's the here's the code for this. It basically just uh, let me get rid of. Let me keep this one, and I'll show you what this does. So when we run this, there we go. I just click go, and it does all this stuff. It's it's doing the trees. It's cutting the trees. It's showing the locations of where it did it and it writes to a file there you go so that's uh here we'll get this out of here here's the code for that just fyi <laughs> so it's and i did several little iterations and stuff like that so yeah that's that's what it looks like but anyway i will meet you back in the game in just a minute all right we are back in the game and see i missed a few that's that's fine i don't mind cutting down a few trees here and there but yeah, cutting down a zillion, a zillion of them for hours at a time is is not, not cool. So yeah, and let's let's go take a look, see what we've got here. See it cleaned off all of our, cleaned off all of our tracks. Oh, that looks nice. See, and we'll be able to. I think what we'll do is we'll just take the train back down. Can we? Is my map working? No, my map is not working. Okay, I'm gonna teleport. There we go. All right. So I think what we're going to do is we'll just, <laughs> we'll fix this up. We need to bring them down the hill anyway. So we'll get that fixed up. This has the brakes on. Let me make sure that, yeah, we have plenty of fuel in there. Okay. So we need to get the tender up here. Now, if I had thought of this before I put the trees back in, I could have done it the other way, but it's honestly, it's, it's, uh, 
it would take more work. Let me see. Am I past it? Where's the tender? Oh, it's right here. Okay, that's that one. All right, cool. That works too. Uh, re-rail. Let's get our tender re-railed here. Is it on the right way? Yep. All right, cool. And we'll go like this. And we should be able to, to hook this up. Cool. All right, and then we should be able to get these re-railed. Let's go like this, just so that we don't have to panic and get this one. So can we, can I do, um, yeah, I'm not sure why my map isn't coming up, but let's open controls. The brake is zero, okay. All right, cool. I just wanted to check that the brake is on zero. We're gonna re-rail this. <laughs> like how it's, it's angry. Right? It's very angry. <laughs> Can we get it to... There we go. All right, cool. See, that's why I wanted to put the thing on there. Because I knew it was going to do that. All right, I think there's one of them that has the brakes on. But... No, maybe not. Okay. All right, and then... Oh, you know what? Let's do this first. Do this first. And yeah, I'm going to have to re-rail a few of these down at the bottom of the hill, too. I may or may, may or may not do those off camera. Because that was my fault this time. Having to re-rail those is totally my fault for the way I hooked this up. All right, I think I'm going to have to move the engine forward with these to make more space to put this one in, maybe. Because, yeah, it's going to be real tight. It's going to be real tight trying to get that in there. So I think we'll wait on that. And what we'll do is we'll go like this. Whoops. Turn on the brakes on this one. We're going to put a thing on that. And we're going to put one on here. And then, yeah, we're going to... Because it's going to, like, yeet the other one if I try to do that. So let's go like this. And we'll bring this... There we go. We'll bring this... We'll let this roll down the hill. All right, let this roll down the hill a little bit so we've got some room to put in the other car. I'm watching the map over here. Got another car like, there we go. Okay, so we should be able to put this one in without knocking everything else off. Because it acts like it has physics, and so I'm guessing that it interacts with these via physics, but, you know, who knows. I don't want to find out by having to re-rail another 12 cars, right? So, all right, and this one should... Actually, I think that one's on, on level ground right now, so... So we'll just back it up. And then we have... Yeah, we have a pin on that. Yep, we'll just back this up to it. Okay. Let's go like this. And we're going to switch our reverser. a lot of power there we go I think 2% should keep it rolling yeah 2% will keep it rolling I hope nope <laughs> all right we'll try 4% then or we'll just bounce it in there and then yeah it's starting to go back down the hill okay there we go 4% That's perfect. All right, and then hopefully it'll, yep, we can hit the brakes there. Okay, cool. And is that one? There we go. And then this one, we should be able to take the brakes off. 0%. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out this track down here double check and make sure that I don't have any of my brakes on any of these and we're going to take the engine down there is this is this that brake is off okay all right so yeah let me double ch check here and make sure nope none of the brakes are on okay and the other thing I want to do before is it going to let me out 
Did it just lock up? No, there it goes. Okay. Before uh, before we do that, I want to save this. So we're going to save game. We're going to save in slot 2. That is our new... <laughs> our good one. Our known good. Okay, and we're going to take the train down this and then clear off whatever we might have missed. So let's go... Did it just did it just pull? Nope, seems like it's okay. All right. There we go. We'll get it rolling a little bit and we should be able to just pretty much roll down the hill on our own uh, on our own gravity. We'll see. Let's see. A little bit more volume. There we go. All right, we're leaving the station. We can turn on the bell. So I just need to keep an eye out for trees on the track or that are close enough to the track that we'll need to stop and clear off things, which is fine. It's not a big deal. It's not actually like annoying or boring going down the track and stopping to cut a tree once, you know? <laughs> so that's that's cool. But yeah, if you wanted to uh, do the same sort of thing you're welcome to try. <laughs> I don't want to try to. I don't want to try to support something that's that hokey. Like you know, try to. If if you don't already know how to do that, it's not going to be something that you're going to be able to do in a couple of hours. So. <laughs> but you're welcome to scroll through the code. I might even paste it in the description or something. But let's see what we've got here. Yeah, I'd even the the thing was like originally set for draw like drag and drop. I had originally made it so that you could drop a file into there and it would load up the file and all that stuff, you know. Um, so I had set it up for that. <laughs> so like during all of my testing, I kept having to like I'd run the program and then I'd drag. It was only at the last couple last couple iterations that I actually. Uh, that I actually did the um, the button, put the button on the form so I didn't have to drag and drop a file into there. <laughs> Just started hard coding everything. Here, go to this location in the file, read this many bytes, you know, do all that. Instead of like finding that information in the file and then reading it from it. But yeah, let's see if we got any more, if we've got any more trees down here. I think we can get going a little bit faster. This is our first time down this track too, because we haven't gone down this since since we built it without. Um, we w we went down it once with the the fake train, you know that that couldn't be derailed. So this is a little different. And yeah, the we're getting a little bit of chop here because of the all the trees. I think it's because we added all the trees back in. You can see a little bit of. A little bit of choppy frame rate, but it's not too bad. All right, we're going to see how this does. Probably add a little bit of break in here. There we go. I don't know what the speed is. I should bring up the control thing on the other screen so I could see what the speed is. But, And I'm hoping we won't hit that. I don't think the sides collide, so I think we're good. Is this not working, or is it only work when you uh, hit the? Yeah, it only works when you got the regulator up. Okay, I'm just curious about that. All right, I don't think we need to go any faster. But this should be a nice mellow. Um, it shouldn't be too steep or anything. That you know, it shouldn't be sending us careening down the mountain <laughs> kind of thing. I hope. Right, I should be watching this way, not the other way. <laughs> all right yeah i can't tell if this is i think this is a slight grade yeah it's hard to tell if we're level or not uh yeah even the trees the trees aren't really level so you can't tell you can't quite tell all right we'll get some more i like that rock right there big mossy rock hanging on there 
Yeah, this looks way better with the trees back in. I think it was worth the effort. So I am going to have to um, just bite the bullet and probably uh, chop some trees down when we do build the next set of track. But that's not that big of a deal. I think we're going uphill here. Sure seems like it. Sure feels like it, doesn't it? There we go. All right, cool. And then I think we've just leveled off here. This is a fun track, though, because we end up going by the um, waterfall and everything, too. So, I like this one. This is a fun track. Yeah, I don't think we need Regulator anymore. I think we're doing okay. I don't want to start getting stuff popping off the tracks again. Alright, let's make sure we don't have any trees up in front of us. No, nope, we're tree free for a little bit while, a little longer. Is that one on the track or is that one beside the track? It's hard to tell. Yeah, that one's beside the track. Okay. No, nope, that one's not on the track. Cool. Uh, yeah, this is a really fun way to go down. The only problem is that it was too, um, they built it that way <laughs> kind of thing. It was too preordained. But here we go. I think we're back on level ground again, so we'll get some regulator going here. I think we might even go uphill a little bit here. Nice. All right. Yeah, that was a cool way to... How many thousands of trees? 3,000 trees? 4,000 trees? Something like that we cleared out. You know, it's, that's pretty good. I like it. And it's not all perfectly even, too, so it's it's kind of blotchy. The trees aren't, like, you know, cut in a perfectly straight line or anything. I like that. Yeah, I think we're actually going up a slight hill or something. Maybe. Cool. Yeah, we'll get another screenshot of the train going over the over the waterfall, right? That's always a nice that's always a nice screenshot. And we've got yeah, we're tree free over here. Okay, cool. Let's see how our back end's doing there? Nice. Yep, we will get a shot of the waterfall here. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's such a beautiful uh, scenery there. All right, let's make sure we don't have any more trees here. No, I did a pretty good job here. So we'll see how, I like, I like this line here. That's where the power lines go, right? In 1860, right? Oh man, that looks really close. This really that's cutting it really close. I hope the hoppers and, and stuff will make it up that. <laughs> Alright, cool. We're still doing okay. I don't think we need a hundred percent. Let's see what happens if we turn it off. Because I think we're still going downhill slightly. Like a one percent or something like that. I don't remember what grade we did on here, but there is a slight downhill to it. Still watching for trees. You get the sneaky one that'll come up. Oh man, the other thing was when I was when I was done with I put down like however many <laughs> was it fifteen hundred or something? All those pieces went before I was done like toward the very end there it was starting to get really like five frames a second kind of choppy <laughs> it was getting really bad because of the so many pieces and stuff all over the place why is it acting like it's chopping here isn't it like it's bouncing i mean popcorning that's a word that's a verb right to popcorn 
and it feels like this rail should be on the other side, but that's fine. Yeah, I really like these new, uh, the, the decorated, the decor, decorative, <laughs> the decorative, the decorative splines. Let's see how we do around this corner here. This is where we're going to find a tree that we need to stop and slam on the brakes, right? Because <laughs> that's going to be fun, dragging a big train up that. I think we came up this same, I think we did that same thing last time. Actually, I think we came around this, didn't we? Because we didn't go, we didn't make it over that hump last time. But yeah, we're going to have to stop before we hit this track over here because we do have stuff that's not properly crossed over and everything. So we'll see what we've got here. Let's hit the brakes. Yeah, because this was back when we built this, this was back when you could just, you know, run the track across each other. So let's jump out here and see what we've got. I think we can put a crossover piece here. We can put a 90 degree crossover here. We're just going to have to kind of work through that. But that shouldn't be too big of a deal. And then this one's going to come over here. So we need another crossover here. So yeah, this is stuff that we're going to have to rebuild before we can really properly do things. I mean, the other thing we could do is we could make switches that go up to here. We could we could put like starting here we could put a couple switches and we could branch off that way to that one and branch off this way to this one something like that i think maybe we could do that instead instead of these crossovers because these crossovers are pretty messy and they're not going to let us do things the way we want to but i think that's going to be it for episode 16 because we're gonna yeah we're gonna have Lots of other stuff to do. So that's going to be it for episode 16. Join me in episode 17. And yeah, we'll get some of that built. We'll get these switches put in and all that. And we'll get our train back up. And then I think what we'll do is we'll grab some of the iron and bring it down here, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what else we got to do. But yeah, that's going to be it for 16. Join me in episode 17. And we'll see you then later. Don't, don't, don't.